In this video tutorial, you will learn how to go and make a fake beard. This is perfect for a stage, or it's also perfect for just costume, cosplay, anything like that. So let's get started. So I am actually using human hair extensions. These I was very lucky to go and find over at the dollar store, but you can normally get these from anywhere like Sally's or any sort of cosmetic place like that. Same thing with also to Ulta, places like that will usually have human hair extensions, and as you can see, it already looks pretty real when I just put it onto my chin. What you're going to do is you're going to go and cut small sections of this off, go and remove any extra little hairs from the sides, and then cut across slightly below where it is all laced together. Make sure to hold all of this hair in your hand. I'm applying a small amount of Graftobian Pro Adhesive over to the bottom of my chin, and normally it's best to start towards the bottom and then go to the sides. What you do is you take some of the hair that you cut and very, very lightly and hardly touch it to the glue. This stuff is going to go and pick up any of the hair extremely well. Then you're going to go and continue around where your chin line is and just continue to go and add hair. Pretty much what you're going to be doing is you're going to be going from the bottom of your chin and then slowly going up. Keep in mind when Whenever you're doing anything with placing hair, you're going to start at the bottom and then go upwards because that's typically how hair is going to grow anyway. And if you stack the hair as well, you're not going to have to go and lift up any of the hair to go and fight with it. It just becomes a bit of a nuisance and then you're going to go and get adhesive in everything. So as you put this layer on, you want to make sure that you get up almost to where your ear is and then go and start applying more hair into the middle. If you saw earlier in this video as well, what I'm doing is when I go and cut the hair, I'm trying to go and pull out the extra little pieces. Usually hair extensions have different layers in them and sometimes they'll come out. If you don't end up pulling all of the hair at the end, what you're going to need to do is you're gonna to have to go and brush through this a little bit, along with also, you're really gonna have a whole bunch of pieces that might stick in weird directions. So now I am on layer three of all of this hair. This is a little bit different now as to how you're going to put on the hair. After you get to the chin part for layer three, you're not going to go and add any more up to where your ears are. It should really look like this from the side and kind of have more of a circular effect to it rather than kind of a straight line all across. And also too, just make sure that every so often you're stretching your neck kind of like I did a couple seconds ago. Now on to the next part, which for the mustache you can use something that you've made, like the stick on that I made, or you can apply hair. I will also put in a tutorial on how to go and make the little stick on that was there. They're actually extremely easy. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a small amount of adhesive on the sides of your mouth, along with also across the upper portion of where your lip is, but not onto your lip. Put two small pieces of hair on the sides and then smaller pieces as well across where the mustache line would be. Now after you have everything down and the adhesive is dried, go and brush it with your fingers to go and get out any extra pieces along with also run your fingers through. See, I am just pulling some extra loose pieces and there's going to be a good amount that does come off. The hair that is stuck onto the adhesive will definitely stay on the adhesive, but after you're done, your beard should look a little something like this. Honestly, I think it looks pretty dang majestic and it blends in with my hair extremely well because I went with a red color and my hair was dyed a little bit ago. And depending on the adhesive that you use, this mustache will hold up for a while. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and have a great one.